The Savannah Bananas are a collegiate team over in Savannah, Georgia. And everybody that's been seeing it lately, you see all these very, very, very filled out stadiums. All these crowds. And they do really, really, really cool little gimmicks. Like Spaceman Bill Lee, a 75-year-old man coming, in, uh, coming out from the crowd and uh, pitching an inning. He'll pitch an inning every once in a while. He comes out from the crowd and does it. Somebody yesterday hit a single while he went up to the plate with a bat that was on fire. You know, something, little things like that. Yeah, you get it online. I mean, it's, it sounds like a fun and it's filling stadiums. But complaint, 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 complaint. There was a thing on you. Uh, there was a thing on Twitter today. Okay, you say YouTube also. It was on Twitter. It was on Twitter. It was on YouTube. It was everything of a kid who hit himself a home run. A fifth grader hits himself a home run. Glover Quinn put it on Twitter. I think that was his son, and he did the gritty around the third base uh, bag. Just did the gritty. Have a little fun. Have a little the gritty dance. Have a little fun. He did it. Complaint. 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 You see all these major leaguers, they bat flip, they stare, they do everything, and they have fun doing it. Complaint, complaint, complaint. See, and there's a problem with this. Bas see, here's the problem, though. Baseball has a popularity issue, and the complaints are coming from a very aging, a very aging and a very old fan base. Everybody who wants their traditions. Everybody who wants all that stuff back. They want the old school back. They want Ken Burns baseball, if you will. They want all that back. They are, they, everything they say, oh, back in the day they didn't flip the bat. Oh my God, Bob Gibson would have thrown it to their ribs. Bob Gibson be kicked out today. It is the way it is now. Like I keep saying, sports are, sports are run by agents and by lawyers. And owners, take it up with them. But in the meantime, all you're going to do by playing this whole tradition game, and this goes to all sports and, all, and in real aspects, when you play the tradition game, you're going to, they are going to fold. All these leagues are going to fold. I mean, the traditional ones, especially baseball right now. They're going to fold. It's going to die. Understand. Understand the ratings for women's basketball are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, just look at the draft the other night. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Then you get, and then there's these newer sports. They're talking about today, I was reading something today. Rugby, they're having a Rugby World Cup and it's going to get bigger in the United States. Soccer's bigger in the United States. A lot of things are bigger in the United States. This is not 1994 after that lockout, after that, after that strike. This isn't any of those. You, they, they had a hard time coming back, but guess what brought it back? Home runs. The steroid era, that brought it back, but then nothing's going to bring it back now. Kids get bored easier. Kids get bored easier. It's just the way it is. They, I mean, the NFL is exceptionally popular, and 53% watch it the same way as we all did. 53% of kids. They had to put it on Nickelodeon and get them more interested. But you're still getting mad at the bat flips. You're still getting mad at the gimmicks. It's, you're going to lose your sport. You're going to lose the sport. If you, don't let the, if you don't leave these kids alone, if you don't leave the people alone, don't leave the gimmicks alone, if you don't leave the celebrations alone, you're going to lose the sport. It is the way it is. Get into the future.